Hi guys, welcome back to my channel again. It's Kat here with another video for you. And today I have my March favorites. I know I'm late with this video, but I was so busy in my personal life with my kids and couldn't do it before. So this is the second time I filmed this video because the older one, I didn't like it so much. So I wanted to like record it again. Um, so yeah, so let's start with the video. Um, This month I've been loving my z palette that i made with all the video case this right here all these shadows i've been using it like crazy i have some of them on my eyes today and i'm gonna tell you right now which one i have this line right here are from jordana and then this one this all these four are from jordana matte single shadows and this one is from elf this one is next this one is wet and wild brulee and these two are from nyx now this was um blame it on midnight and this one is dense the tide so i have dense the tide um blame it on midnight and this one which this one is called um your majesty so that's what i have on my eyes today yeah i've been loving this palette so much like i'm being so lately into neutral colors so much like oh i love this so the next thing i will show you guys that i've been loving for this month is my bent night banana luxury powder i've been loving this powder so much to send my under eye concealer as you can see um this doesn't let your concealer crease it like brighten your eyes so much and i really like it the next thing I've been loving from this more are lipsticks and lip gloss. I'm been reaching these two so much. Like I've been wearing only these two products all month long. And this is the Rimmel Kate. It's the shade one on one and the new Milani lip gloss on Pink Lady. I will swatch it for you. Now I don't have this on my lips today because obviously I want to use my other ones that I have so that's how I look since you know it's already spring you want to have like really spring colors and wait right there so these two are like the perfect combo and I love it so much the next product I will show you guys it's what I use to fill in my brows now I've been loving these two products so much and the first one is wet and wild ultimate brow cake this is an ash brown I've been using this color to fill them in and my tail a little bit of this one I have to be careful because they're really pigmented and it can make your brow look so dark and this brush it's the bomb I've been applying the product with this brush and it's amazing and my e.l.f. gel eyeliner or cream eyeliner this is what i used to fill in my brows today i haven't i didn't use this powder only these and i love it because it stays all day and yeah i love it for concealer um, this month i've been loving the nyx hd concealer now it looks like that this one is in the shade or color tan which looks like that i try to like um to match my skin tone so because I wanted it for my under eye I didn't want to like brighten um, my eyes so yeah that's how it looks the next product I've been loving this month are blushes and I've been loving these two so much like these two I only wear these two this month and it's the next um, blush in bourgeois pick like this I know you guys are tired of seeing these everywhere but it's one of my favorite. It's the one I have on today. And Jordana Powder Blush on Rose Silk number 32. Looks like this. This is like more like a pale pink. And it is it's really good for like um um winter because it's like light pink. But I, I use it and it works. Um, next thing I've been loving is this baby right here. Now, when I bought this, the first impression, I was like, I did not like this. I don't see my skin 
blur anything it's everything is the same this is crap so then i was like you know what i have to use my makeup that i have i don't want to like to get spire i want to use it because i spend my money and i want to use it so i decided to give it a try this one again so i decided to try it and as you can see i already like use half of it <laughs> so um what i do is i apply a little bit amount with this two fingers and I just go like that and I'm just tapping where I have my large pores I tap it and then I'm just like slightly touch and smooth my skin and then leave it out for like one minute or two and then when I look at it it really works so this thing I will definitely will buy it again because it's really really good and it feels in, not feeling your pores but it really burl burl blurred them and um yeah so this it, i know it's not the dupe for professional because that thing is perfect and this one is not that perfect but it really works for five bucks you can't get wrong with that and the next and the last and not least the last two products that i have is these two moisturizer from clean and clear now this one my as yeah as I told you before, I have oily skin and combination skin at the same time. These two being saving my life. Now at night, what I do is I apply this one because I want my face to be moisturizing. And this and this is like a hydrating moisturizer, which I I know I I can use it because I have oily skin, but it really helped me because I have some dry patch right here and it's gone with this. And during the day, I use this one. This one, it's it's like matte. The only thing I don't like about this primer, it's you feel like tingling in your face. Like I don't like that at all. But it really works. Um, what can I say about this product? Um, I've been loving it because whatever it depends what foundation I'm wearing is depend which one of these I use. Because if the foundation I'm wearing it's matte. I will use this one is the foundation I'm using it's kind of like a dewy I use this one so yeah so those were my favorite for this month guys I hope you guys like this video and if you like it please thumbs up this video and let me know what you guys want to see next and I will talk to you guys in the next one bye guys